So where, yeah, where, where that's cut it, I don't like it, you see that. See where that joins is the lip on it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Me don't like it. So what I'm doing is I'm coming further on here. I've put me a uh, bit of lipping on. I've scored it with my knife. With oh no, standing knife. Scored it down there. Just nice and gently. Make sure you do it gently. And all this is on. This is on with Evo. So I've got my iron. I'm just going to warm that bit of lipping up. Just warm it up, keep warming it up, and it's going to melt that glue. When it melts that glue, I'm just going to pull the lipping off. And let's see this edge, it's going to be perfect. And then I'm going to glue it, glue that, glue this, break it off. We're going to start with a flush piece there, and it'll blend in. Be like no tomorrow. Not hot, hot enough. Get it warmed up. My iron's warmed it up. Never been without that. Warmed it up. Get your Stanley knife. See that? It just peels off. Nice and gently. Nice and gently. Like that. That edge. Straight on there, it's took all that Evo. See, that's stuck on with Evo in factory. No good. That way, when we do this slipping round there, ideally I would have liked to, I would have took it all off and re it all, but clearly not long enough. So, joined it up, and if we can see that there, Lee, can you see that joint? Beautiful, look at that, like a work of art. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Evo, I'm going to Evo that, I'm going to Evo that, and then give it 15 minutes, and then I'm going to wrap it round. I'll let it dry for 24 hours, and then I'll file it off. And jobs are good. And a nice, even coat of Evo all the way down. And then we're just going to lay that piece, dry. which of e-board. You lay that dry until it gets tacky. And then when we stick it on, it's not going to be moving about all over. So after you've let it go, after you let it go tacky, and that tacky, then I'm always going to keep, see that neat edge here? I'm going to keep that neat edge here. And then I can just file all that edge gently. Start there, make sure it's nice and tight. So I just cut the bottom off. Just take your time, get it round, make sure this gap here is perfect. Can I see that late? Then just keep working it around, make sure there's no air gaps in it. They take a lot of work these corners. And then just keep doing that all the way down. Take all that, see the glue just rubs off like that. Rub it off while it's, uh, while it ain't dry. Then just peel it off. Make sure you keep pushing it on. This, this is the section where if it comes off, this is where it'll be. Make sure there's no air gaps, make sure that is bang on. That's what I want. Then, now we know we've got that perfect. You either can overshoot it 
and then spend half an hour filing it down or just get it get it bang on as you're putting it on and spend two minutes getting it bang on. Do you know what I mean? Then straight into there you snap that in beautiful like that Take that off. And then now for the next 10 minutes or half an hour, just keep checking on it, making sure it's not pushing off. But as you can see there, that lid is perfect. Top edge, yeah. If you look at that top edge, can you see that top edge? Don't look any different to that edge. It's perfect. And then what I'll do is I'll cut that off once all that's dry, give it a little file, put my panel on, job's done. And then if you persevere with it, see the top edge? The top edge looks Exact same all the way down. That's where we join them. Just looks like factory fit. That's the top edge. Just matches the rest of it. That, just clean a bit of looby doo off. And that'll be perfect. Just keep going back to it. Make sure it's still on solid. So I'm going to have to cut my day short today because uh, this is for integrated washing machine, integrated dryer, but everybody's forgot about the dryer and no one's bothered ordering one. So what I'm going to have to do is go down to my supplier today and see if we can get an integrated dryer for it. But it's coming on nicely, all we've got is Ireland and then all the rest of it is just too vain, we just bang doors on, they'll all go on. Bit of cornice and pelmet for that, and that'll go on nicely. We'll leave my joint to dry before I cut out this sink, and then we we'll leave this slipping to go off completely before I file that down, and then um, you should be seeing the back end of it tomorrow. So what we're going to do now is we're going to clean all these units right down. Lee's going to clean them all so they'll all be spotless by the time we come tomorrow. And then we'll have a nice clean surface. Kitchen's getting less and less. They've sent a bit uh, Beko washing machine. It should have been a Zanussi. Zanussi's on shortage. So Zanussi's not coming. So the kitchen firm sent this Beko. They want me to fit this Beko washing machine. And then... When they get the Zanussi one, they want me to come back and swap them over. But if they think I'm just doing that, all that hassle, they're going to have to be giving me that Beko washer. Because the only place that a Beko washing machine is going to be going is in the back of my van. And then it's going to be going straight into my lockup. So if I'm having to come swap it, it's, that is the defin definitely the place that it'll be going. So we'll have to see. So, another busy day tomorrow, but as you can see, it looks good. So, so don't forget to like it and subscribe to MJC Kitchens and Bathrooms. I'll show you daily reports, daily. This is real life. You can't get any realer than this. This isn't a studio. These are real life, real problems, real issues, and real solutions. So don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like. Cheers.